Our next guest is one of the most unique performers in entertainment. He's an accomplished comedian, a motivational speaker to Fortune 500 companies, and an acclaimed and award-winning magician. Now, you may have seen him opening for F Jeff Foxworthy or maybe seen him with Jimmy Kimmel, but I want you to welcome to our stage for the first time, Mr. Mark Robinson. You guys ready to have a good time? I wanted to do a trick with danger. I'm not a rig danger guy, so what's a regular guy do? I went to Home Depot, and I came up with this. <laughs> These are five DeWalt staplers. These are not your craft store staplers. These fire at 800 feet a second, half-inch staple, boom, straight into a block of wood. These will mess you up. <laughs> and we're gonna play a little game I like to call Staple Gun Roulette. Before we get started, can I get you to sign right here? <laughs> Would you hold that? You just sign anywhere right there. And press hard, there's three copies. Thank you, thank you. All that says is you were having a good time in the show up till now. <laughs> okay, so all of the staple guns are exactly the same in that they are all not loaded. We're going to make one very different from all the other ones. I have a ream of staples right there. You see this? I'm gonna let that fall in just like that. Locked and loaded, just like that. I'm gonna leave it right here. All you have to do is keep your eye on this one. In a minute, you are really gonna wanna know where this one is. <laughs> just saying. All right, I'm gonna spin the wheel, and would you guys watch too, in case there's, she doesn't get it, I don't wanna have an accident. I'm gonna spin the wheel just like this. I'm gonna get out of your way. Now, at this point, she's got it completely pinpointed. Tell everybody which one has the staples in it. Right here. Perfect, you think it spun 37 times and came back to the exact same spot. That's perfect. Uh, would you hold that just down, just by your side, just like this? You want the, I'll, yeah, I'm, so, I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so, this is the most stressful part of the entire show, and I really wanna impress you, but I'm a little nervous. Could you, could you guys play something to relax me a little? I'm sorry, I hate this part of the show. My love, <laughs> there's only you in my life, the only thing that's bright. <laughs> and I And then there were two. <laughs> Would you come a little bit closer right there and I want you to take that staple gun and I want you to put it right up on my cheek. Just put it right up on my cheek. Perfect, leave this arm down like, like it's a gunfight and just put it right up on my cheek because I'm gonna put mine on your hip. Oh. What? <laughs> you seemed real certain a minute ago. <laughs> like I just took three, okay? <laughs> All right, and I want you to look me right in the eye. Miss Charity's gonna take a Polaroid of us. Just look concerned. That's perfect. That'll be for later. That's just for liability purposes. That way, no matter what happens in a second, okay. one of us can claim self-defense. Okay. So. <laughs> this is so cool, I've never gotten this far before. So, okay, okay, all right. On the count of three, we're both gonna pull. Best case scenario for you, you're about to staple me in the face. You know what? I trust you. Put that down. I trust you. I trust your ability to make decisions, to be decisive. I trust you so much, I'm willing to do this. <laughs> Which can only mean one thing. Let me have that one. We have a gift for you. That is, put that picture on, on the board just like this. That is going to develop into a great memory. Check it out. Mm. That's for you. Thank 
<laughs> Thank you, guys. You know, one of the things, Mark, I want to ask you about, getting into magic and comedy, which is a great combination, was that something that you just decided as a child or a teenager? At what point of life did you say, this is my livelihood? Uh, when I was a kid, I was a kid magician, and I did birthday parties for the kids in the neighborhood and that kind of thing. And it occurred to me in my teen years, not everybody likes magic, but everybody likes to laugh. Hmm. And the funny parts of the magic show were way more popular than the actual magic parts of the magic show. And so I thought, well, this is the way to go. If you get a crowd uh, having fun and laughing, should something amazing happen, it's a bonus. And that is the way I do my act. You're doing stuff all over the country. A lot of Fortune 500 companies yes. hire you to come in and do motivational uh, speeches because a lot of times you can get a point across through entertaining that they would never sit and listen to a long speech. Exactly. If meetings weren't boring, I'd be out of work. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Hey, Keith, why don't you do some magic and let the audience know how they can keep up with Mark Robinson. Well, if you'd like Mark Robinson to perform or speak at your business, community, or church event, be sure to visit him on his website, bestmotivationalspeakers.com.